was not meet Mark Antony, so well beloved of Caesar, should outlive Caesar. Let Antony and Caesar fall together. Our course will seem too bloody, Caius Cassius, to cut the head off, then hack the limbs like wrath and death, <coughs> and envy afterwards. For Antony is but a limb of Caesar. Let us be sacrificers, but not butchers. Let us be sacrificers, but not butchers. Yes, your Brutus lacks conviction, Mr. Bell. You do realize what you're saying. The fate of the Republic is at stake. Not for me. <laughs> no, I realize that. But try to imagine the significance of the moment. You, Brutus, are at the center of a conspiracy to kill Julius Caesar. You believe for the good of Rome. Yet you're struggling profoundly with the moral implications of murdering Mark Antony as well. Yeah, but I don't agree with their plan. Brutus doesn't agree with their plan? No, I don't agree with their plan. They should kill Mark Antony too. I mean, <laughs> Brutus is a pussy. <laughs> a pussy? Because he has a conscience? Because he believes there's a right way and a wrong way? Oh, come on. Antony ended up taking him down, right? Well, in a manner of speaking, yes, he and Octavius, but... But what? Had they killed him as the other guy suggested, uh... Cassius? Yeah, him. If they'd done what he said, Brutus might have gone on to be king. Emperor, in fact. Exactly. Which he had no desire to be. Whatever, he would have won. Yes, but at what cost? Remember Socrates? Not really. <laughs> it is not living that is important, but living rightly. Socrates chose to die by unjust execution rather than break the laws of Athens to which he had pledged obedience. Another genius. Hey, get your